Gauss Jordan method. Already we completed one theorem. If A is a non singular matrix, it can be transformed to an identity matrix by a series of elementary row transformations or pre multiplying by elementary matrices. Now, A is a non singular matrix. Suppose the B is the inverse of A, then A into B is equal to identity matrix. Now A can be written like this, A is equal to identity matrix into A. Because when a matrix is multiplied by identity matrix, it will be A itself. So A can be written like this. Now IN is equal to B into A. Because B is the inverse of A. Now since A is a non-singular matrix, by a series of elementary row transformation, it can be converted into an identity matrix. Similarly, you do the same elementary operation on this side also. So, identity matrix will be converted into B. Because then only A into B is identity matrix. So, B is the inverse of A. So, B is the inverse of A. Suppose the E1, E2, etc. up to EK are the elementary matrices such that when A is pre-multiplied by this, it is identity matrix. So, if you are getting identity matrix this side, so this will be the inverse. That means inverse of A is equal to EK, etc. E2, then E1. So, pre-multiplying a matrix by elementary matrices and uh, transforming it into identity matrix is known as Gauss-Jordan method. Here, A, after a sequence of elementary transformations, it is converted into an identity matrix. That method is what is known as Gauss-Jordan method. We have already learned how to find the inverse of a matrix. Inverse of a matrix is given by the relation A inverse is equal to adjoint A divided by determinant of A. But there is another method to find the inverse of a matrix. So that method is known as Gauss-Jordan method. For a non-singular matrix A inverse exists. So this is a non-singular matrix. We have to find out the inverse of this matrix. So in the Gauss-Jordan method, this is the first step. Given matrix is augmented with an identity matrix. So this is a 2 by 2 matrix. So you augment the given matrix with a 2 by 2 identity matrix. So given matrix is A, you write as it is here. Then identity matrix of order 2, 1, 0, 0, 1. Then when we make this matrix identity matrix, this will become inverse. So same elementary operation we have to apply for this also. Now this we have to make it an identity matrix. So here 0, I want a plus 1 here. So first you for that you interchange the row 1 and row 2. So this will come here and this will come here. So like this you interchange. So minus 1, 6 is written as the first row and 0, 5 is written as the second row. Now same operation you do for this, all, this also. So 0, 1 you write as the first row. 1, 0 you write as the second row. Next in an identity matrix first element should be plus 1. Now here it is minus 1. To make it plus 1, first row you multiply by minus 1. So minus 1 will become plus 1. Plus 6 will become minus 6. Second row there is no change. 0, 5. Same elementary operation you do for this also. 0, 1. So you multiply by minus 1. So it will become 0, minus 1. Then 1, 0 there is no change. Next, in an identity matrix, here I want 
1. So, second row is multiplied by 1 by 5 and replaced. Second row is replaced. So, here this multiply by 1 by 5. 0 into 1 by 5, 0. 5 into 1 by 5 is 1. Next, same operation you have to do for this matrix also. 0 minus 1, same as it is. Second row is multiplied by 1 by 5. So, this will become 1 by 5. 0 into 1 by 5 is 0. Next, for an identity matrix, here it should be 0. So, to make it 0 here, second row is to be multiplied by 6 and added to the first row. So, elements of the second row, you multiply by 6 and add to the first row. So, here this 0 into 6, 0. So, that you add to the first row. So, here 1, here 0, 1 into 6, 6, 6 minus 6, so it will be 0, 0, 1. Now, same elementary operation you do for this also. Now, this you multiply by 6, so 6 by 5, you add to the 0, it will be 6 by 5. Next, this you multiply by 6 and add to this so it will be minus 1 now this is converted into an identity matrix so this identity matrix will be converted into inverse of this so inverse of a is this so inverse of this matrix is this one 6 by 5 minus 1 1 by 5 0 next 1 by 5 if you take outside here 6 so this minus 1 will become minus 5. Then this 1 by 5 is taken outside. So 1, then this 0. So this is the inverse of the given matrix. We are given a non-singular 3 by 3 square matrix. We have to find its inverse by using gauss jordan method. First step is augment the given matrix with an identity matrix of order 3. Given matrix you write as it is. Then identity matrix. This we have to transform to identity matrix by elementary transformation. We have to apply the same elementary transformation for this also. Then this will be converted into inverse. To convert this to identity matrix, we have to make it here 1. So you can use this elementary transformation. Elements of the first row, you multiply by half. So 2 into half, so it will be 1, 1 into half, half, 1 into half, half. Second row and third row, there is no change. Same elementary transformation you apply for this. So this you also you multiply by half. So 1 into half, half, then 0 into half, 0, 0 into half, 0. Second row and third row, there is no change. After that, here and here, we have to make a 0. So, you can use this elementary transformation. From second row, you subtract the first row after multiplying by 3. Similarly, from the third row, you subtract the first row after multiplying by 2. So, first row, there is no change. 1, half, half. Then, elements of this row, you multiply by 3 and subtract from this. So, it will become 0, half, minus half. Similarly, you multiply this with 2 and subtract from, from this. So then, 1 into 2, 2, 2 minus 2, it will be 0. So similarly, you complete this, multiply all the elements of this row with 2, so that it will become 0. Then similarly, subtract, so you get this. Same elementary transformation here to apply for this also, so you will get like this. Next uh, elementary transformation is elements of uh, second row you multiply by 2 so that here it will become 1. When this is multiplied by 2, it will get cancelled so it will become 1. Then when this is multiplied by 2, it will get cancelled so it will become minus 1. Third row there is no change. Now for this also you have to apply the same elementary transformation elements of this row you have to multiply by 2. So when this is multiplied by 2, 2 will get cancelled. So minus 3. 
when 1 is multiplied by 2, it will be 2, then 0 into 2, 0. Third row, there is no change. Next, you have to use this elementary transformation. Uh, from the elements of row 1, you subtract the elements of row 2 after multiplying by half. Elements of second row, you multiply by half and subtract from this. So that here it will be 0 and here it will be 1. Then same elementary transformation you apply for this also. For this also you apply, so you will get like this. So next uh, apply this elementary transformation. From the row 1 you subtract row 3. So from row 1 you subtract row 3 so that here it will become 0. Our aim is to make it here 0. So you use this elementary transformation. Row 1 you subtract row 3. So 1, 1 minus 0, 1. Next 0 minus 0, 0. Next 1 minus 1 is 0. Then this elementary transformation. Second row you add third row. Second row you add third row. So 0 plus 0, 0. Next this 1 plus 0. Then 1, then minus 1 plus 1. So it will be 0. Third row there is no change. Now we transformed this matrix to identity matrix. So inverse of the given matrix is this one. So this is the Gauss Jordan method. When this matrix is converted into identity matrix, this identity matrix will be converted into a inverse. So this is the inverse of the given matrix. By using elementary row transformation, this given matrix is converted into identity matrix. So this identity matrix will be converted into inverse of the matrix. So inverse of the matrix is this matrix. So you can write A inverse is 3 minus 1 minus 1 minus 4 2 1 minus 1 0 1.